Are you a metformin? And are you asking yourself, does metformin cause dementia? Answers coming up. This channel is about tips and advice to promote your health and to help you stay young. Therefore, think your health and hit the subscribe button. This is the last part of my series of videos on metformin. And if you want a link to the first video in the series looking at metformin and side effects, click on this link above. Can diabetes cause dementia? What you should know is that diabetes is associated with a one and a half to two times increased risk of dementia and cognitive decline, especially with increasing age. Researchers think there's a higher association with vascular dementia rather than Alzheimer's dementia. Diabetes causes your blood sugar levels to be higher than normal. Normally, the pancreas produces a hormone called insulin to decrease the increased glucose level. Now what happens in diabetes is your body fat cells, liver cells, and muscle cells do not respond well to insulin. This is called insulin resistance. The higher blood sugars are associated with an increased risk of dementia. In other words, the higher your blood sugar levels are, the higher the risk of cognitive decline. One study also correlated very severe low glucose levels, also called hyperglycemia, with an increased risk of dementia. So make sure you're taking care of your blood sugars. All of this makes sense. Your brain cells need sugar to function. And if there's too much sugar or too little sugar, they don't work that well. If there are prolonged episodes of high blood sugar, or low blood sugar, this in turn damages your brain cells. Now to the main question, can metformin cause dementia? Metformin can cause B12 deficiency. And if you want a link to a previous video I did on this subject, click on this link above. Vitamin B12 deficiency affects your brain cells and nerve cells. The protective covering around your nerve fibers called myelin is damaged. This causes a variety of symptoms such as dementia, forgetfulness, insomnia, depression, irritability, peripheral sensory deficits, and psychosis. B12 deficiency results in an increase of an amino acid in your blood called homocysteine. Elevated levels of homocysteine lead to brain shrinkage. Doctors refer to this as brain atrophy. When we get older, our brains shrink. However, with neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's disease, this is accelerated. In Alzheimer's disease, as well as other neurodegenerative disease, homocysteine levels are elevated. Elevated homocysteine levels increase the risk of neurodegenerative diseases. Therefore, when taking your metformin, make sure your B12 levels are checked given that it can cause B12 deficiency. If you're finding value in this video, don't forget to like, comment, and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and that subscription button as well. In the past years, there have been some studies showing metformin slow down cognitive decline. On the screen, you'll see two of those studies and you can see the links in the description below. A recent Australian study just published in November of this wonderful year 2020 in the journal Diabetes Care concluded older adults receiving metformin have slower cognitive decline and dementia risk. That's quite a statement and a stunning headline, don't you think? This study was however an observational study. Observation studies cannot prove that one thing causes another, only that they are linked. The study authors did write that larger, more randomized studies in people with and without diabetes should be performed. In my opinion, we have to be careful drawing any broad conclusions regarding these studies and other recent similar studies as they are not the gold standard of studies. The gold standard of studies are randomized controlled studies. What I would conclude that if your blood sugars are better controlled with diet and lifestyle changes, including taking your diabetic medications to achieve better blood glucose control, that these measures contribute to decreasing cognitive decline and decrease the chances of dementia. In this way, you're taking control of your health and 
thinking your health did you, did you see what i was doing and if you're interested in when to stop taking your metformin click on this link above and if you're interested in other videos don't forget to click right here or click right here or click right here or click right here have a good day and think your health am i i mean is my tongue getting tired at the end why is this happening one more that subscription button as well let me do that again <laughs> why is this happening now am i not drinking enough water <laughs> <laughs>